So I actually want to go and start discussing this menu here and taking a look at each of these different primitives. Because as we go through 3D, you're going to find that the combination of these tools can pretty much create you almost any 3D object. And if you join and combine and cut and splice and do Boolean operations, and you, you end up building your 3D object. And that's the way to approach these 3D things, is that it's a combination of two of your 2D drawings and then the 3D primitives themselves. What we will have to discuss at some point is how to actually take a 2D object and turn it into a 3D object. But let's uh, we'll get on to that but when we get to normal extrude or one of the other options. Let's just take a look at these tools for now and how they actually work in detail, okay? So we've actually seen this one already, this box tool. Let's go back to our wireframe tool. And we saw that that required three points or for you to enter the length, width, and height down here, okay? We said it was difficult to draw a box in this top view without actually just typing in the, the, the distance over here because when you're in a top view, you've got no depth. Right. But when you're in an isometric view, you do have the depth, so you can draw the draw the box as you would need to. Okay. Yep. The next one is a sphere. Now, a sphere to me I've got some limitations in 3D with spheres because if if you compare it to the arcs, the 2D arcs, the sphere is very similar to this circle and center and point, right. where you can define a center point and then a point on the circumference. And you don't have any of these other things, like the opposite points and the three points. And all of those things would be really nice. But uh, in 3D, you're pretty much stuck to this one here for the sphere, which is the center point and a point in the circumference. So let's choose that one. Now, I'm going to snap here to the middle of this thing. I'm going to press my M key when I'm on that line. And what I've done now is I've snapped to the center of that point. Now I want to define my point on the circumference. So I'm going to come down to this end corner over here and I'm going to press my V key. So now I've created what we call a sphere. 